just doing a little work on this this uh, Mighty Magnum antenna specialist Mighty Magnum. This is a matching coil in the bottom of it. What I did is I took a 7 16 drill bit and honed that. That was a wooden dowel because uh, that sawdust and from the bit chips definitely wood. So what I'm figuring on is I used a 7 16 bit and that pulled, that just pulled that old wood out of there. Uh, I also did it. Through here, you can see that's some kind of a, like a rolled. You see the layers? It's like wrapped. It looks like rings on a tree when you cut a tree down. Uh, I might hone on that a little bit more, get a little more material. But what what I'm trying to do is use uh, that seven sixteenths bit. Uh, what do I have here? What round rod is this? I got three eighths round rod or dowel rod, but I need seven sixteenths dowel rod because what what I plan on doing is uh, seven sixteenths, maybe even half. I think I might have some. But I can shape the end of the dowel down to make up, you get a bigger dowel and then you can shape this down because what you're doing is making an insulated piece. But there has to be enough, what I'll do is make it a snug fit and then I'll get some uh, like Gorilla Glue epoxy, two part epoxy, and epoxy. Uh, the round rod in there, it's not perfect because I'm just hand drilling it. It was broke at an angle, so uh, it, that's no big deal. I didn't want to go too deep because the center tap is right here, and I'm just above it. And I don't know how far down in that goes. So uh, I haven't rewrapped the coil yet. I may not even do that. I might just take some tests uh, below the tap from here. This just clean this up and test to see if I got continuity here, and then test the difference up here uh, from the center and see what kind of match from here to here is. So. With that being said, uh, I did repin. This was the original uh, roll pin that I got back through there, and then I used some. Uh, the sawdust chips are sticking to it, but anytime I do antenna work, I bought a brand new super penetrator back in 2014, and I bought this tube. Uh, no oxide, a special. And it's an 8 ounce tube. I've put every antenna I got together with it. Well, the ones that the elements aren't like riveted together like the uh, Hornet right there. These elements are sealed. Like the guy has them nut and bolted and then they got uh, silicone at each junction. So I'm not going to bother taking that all apart and redoing that. Uh when I do this six element, but in the case of the pro well, the problem with getting this apart, like I said, somebody must have used stainless steel, actual stainless steel screws, and I had to open this up and spread it to get the top part of the mast out of the lower section. Because if you think about it, it's more or less ruined anyway with this bulge. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't expect. Let me get this stupid. It was at the bulge. Uh, where is it? Right there. From that, I would assume that rubber plug was 
in here somewhere and well it just filled up that probably got full of crap and just filled up and that's where it froze and split but it is a weak point uh definitely i mean there's ways around doing that you can splint it and it'll work for a while but uh just to get it up and running uh i imagine every element or every uh <laughs> every every section in that has those screws in it so i am not going to split every element to get it apart uh it's just going to stay in one one piece except right there uh, definitely will i'll actually put that in a drill press and drill those pieces out and then once i get it back in here i'll pin it across and then a heavy duty stainless steel hose clamp here to strengthen it back up uh, but yeah um just just wanted to see if anybody else nobody's commented on the last video uh on this these antenna specialist uh, mighty magnums if they ever got into the matching section uh of them or not so I like this design a lot better than a CLR2 with a printed circuit matching coil or matching section coil in the bottom because I've seen those and well but anywho 